Hey now, Deadheads, have I got something special for you today. Now, how many of you are familiar with this Grateful Dead record? Studio record, Grateful Dead Regards from the Gold Coast. Now, I gotta admit, I wasn't familiar with this when I bought it. It still has a price tag on it right over here. Paid $25 for a mystery record that I didn't know anything about. Um, and I'm gonna tell you guys the story of this record today, uh, but first, a little bit of a story time. I was down in Richmond, Virginia about a week or two ago, and while I was down in Richmond, I saw a local record store had this posted on their Instagram, and I've been looking for Dead Set for quite some time. My little brother uh, is now currently the owner of my dad's old copy, and so I was left without a copy of Dead Set. I found a decent copy. You know, the jacket is worn a little bit. The records are clean, nice and you know, playable. What you would expect for a record that is, what is it now, about almost 42 years old. This came out in 1980 or 1981. So it, it's a, it's a well-seasoned record, plays really well. Very happy with this copy. And while I was there, they had a few other cool things, a few uh, parachute recording company, Euro boots, radio recording bootlegs. I tend to skip those. I covered those in another video. Saw a few other cool things that were interesting to me. The smiling on a cloudy day, compilation, which I almost picked up, but I was like, eh, I already have all these songs every anyway. I didn't have a copy of Jerry Garcia Band's Cats Under the Stars, and I was nice and surprised. It was some sort of anniversary edition marbled yellow vinyl. This is really clean, plays super well, uh, really great. You know, has Ruben and Charisse, Cats Under the Stars, Rhapsody in Red, I really like as well. And so, you know, uh, a classic from Jerry Garcia Band that wasn't in my collection, and and now it is, now I have it, but this was the mystery record that I picked up, and I was looking at the back of it, on the back, you see the track listing. Now some of these songs are familiar, some of them are sort of familiar. You know, when I look at this, I, you know, I know Passenger, I know Estimated Profit, Fire on the Mountain, these are all Terrapin Station songs. Uh, no Man is Perfect, I have no idea what that is. Inspiration, I took a, a wild guess and figured that was Terrapin Station. Dancing in the Street, Smokestack Lightning, and so it seemed like maybe it's a Terrapin Station era bootleg, but I wasn't quite sure, especially with No Man is Perfect. And so I went online, you know, I do my research. I went onto the Grateful Dead Discord, of all places, asked around in one of the channels there, said, hey, does anyone know what this is? You know, I, I don't know. You know. What is the connection to the Placentia uh, Orchard Co.? Valencia's brand, Gold Coast brand, it seems like some sort of oranges, but I just didn't really know, produce of USA, what this was. And so I, I poked around a little bit, and someone had suggested, oh, looking at that track list, it looks like the inverse, flipped version of the Terrapin Station outtake. And that looks more like Terrapin Station. It looks like what you would expect for some Terrapin Station outtakes. This is a different cover. It's it's interesting. There's you can see the tape here. I can I can zoom in on that a little bit as well, so you can really see the tape. So it's it's a bit of a handmade, homemade cover, but you have this fairly I wouldn't say professionally printed, but it's not a home print job, especially considering the vintage, considering the era of this jacket. Pretty pretty nice print job, despite being taped together and, and not glued. Um, and I also still had that mystery of No Man is Perfect. And so I looked a little bit a little bit closer. Mr. Completely, he's on Twitter, but he's also on the, the Grateful Dead Discord, pointed out No Man is Perfect. That sounds like it's probably Equinox. Now, I didn't know Equinox. I, I looked on Apple Music, and uh, that was a song from the Terrapin Station era outtakes. It's on the, I think it's on the Band Beyond Description box set, which is on streaming services. And so if you don't know Equinox, I don't think they ever played it live. If they did, maybe only once or twice. You can find that on the Band Beyond Description box set on streaming. So you can find it, track it down, find out what No Man Is Perfect is or Equinox. And then when we look at what's on the inside, uh, the, now the record store that I bought this from, they, I guess, didn't really know what they had. I don't think the owner is the biggest deadhead in the world, uh, but he knows that the Grateful Dead sells on vinyl. He says he's, uh, I talked to him while I was buying this, he says he's always got stock, dead stock, coming in and out. Uh, he had a few more in the basement. He asked, oh, do you have this? Do you have this? And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a worn down 
label. Uh, but I, I assume at one point it must have said Grateful Dead, maybe even Terrapin Station on there. I don't know if any sleuths can figure out uh, what was previously on that label. But a pretty cool record. Um, if I had to guess the lineage of this, it sounds like it was sourced from some sort of cassette tape master. It has that kind of cassette hiss that you would expect from, you know, a magnetic cassette tape. But overall, it sounds pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty surprised because I just, I didn't know that this existed on vinyl. I guess this was a, a bootleg that, that made the rounds back in the day, back in, when was Terrapin Station? 78, 77, 78-ish. Um, and so it's, it's cool to see a little bit of homemade fan art, something a little bit different from the Xeroxed labels that you see on Discogs or, or floating around on the internet, uh, but a pretty cool compliment to you know the Terrapin Station album. I'm curious maybe in in a few years when they do the 50th anniversary edition of Terrapin Station if this will become the angel share like they did for Working Man's Dead or American Beauty or if they'll do maybe a 2 LP set with the regular version of the album and those outtakes as a kind of secondary complementary uh, piece to it. Uh, but overall it's pretty cool to have this. Now, I've got a question for anyone. I know I've got some serious deadheads uh, who subscribe to this channel, who watch these videos. I'm curious if you know anything about this jacket. Uh, you know, the Xeroxed ones that I've seen and I put on the screen make more sense to me, but what would bring someone to make a homemade jacket like this? Was this kind of folk art popular at one point? Um, or is this just... Uh, a very committed deadhead who wanted to make his own album cover to complement his copy of the Terrapin Station outtakes. Let me know what you think down below. Um, and then in terms of upcoming videos, upcoming releases that are on the radar, um, I'm not sure if you guys saw this, but the um, Jerry Garcia's Garcia album uh, had its 50th anniversary. I think it was last year was the 50th anniversary, but they're finally getting around to doing a 50th anniversary edition. And so floating around, I don't know if it's hit dead.net, but it hit Garcia Family Pro Provisions and you know all the Music Direct, Elusive Disc uh, have started stocking the 50th anniversary edition on, I think it's gold marbled vinyl. But what's interesting about that, they've done so many anniversary editions of that I think it's the same master that's been floating around since, I think, maybe 2012 for that. Um, I might be mistaken on that, but I think I remember 2012 being the most recent master on that. But it is a double album um, with outtakes. Now, those outtakes are already on Apple Music, already on Spotify, and so you can find those already. But if you're looking for you know, the, the album of Garcia with the outtakes all in one package. I believe this is the first time that they're doing that. And so that's coming in early December. I will, of course, be sharing that on this channel for those who are interested. Um, Bob Weir's Ace is getting the 50th anniversary treatment. Double CD with the, the show that I went to at Radio City Music Hall back in April as the second disc. He did a live version of Ace for the 50th anniversary uh, with a few special guests uh, but the album, the the vinyl version will only be that uh, single LP. I think it's uh, marbled pearl vinyl, um, and so I'll, I'm really interesting interested to see how that 50th anniversary edition stacks up when compared to my 50 year old copy of Ace. Uh, I bet it's a, a lot cleaner sounding, but. What I've been finding is that the depth of these 50th anniversary editions, particularly Europe 72 and a few others, it's just, it doesn't, the richness isn't there that you would expect in the original version, but it's a cleaner copy. And so that's the balance. You know, it's hard to find a clean 50 year old copy. So if you can't, you know, these 50th anniversary editions are, are really quite nice. And then there is um, a few things that they've teased for 2023. And so we'll, I, I, I think before the end of this year, I will be making a video talking about the things that we're pretty sure will get released, whether it's uh, an official Dead.net release, a Record Store Day release, or you know, uh, just a, a rumor that's floating around, predictions for, for 2023. Because uh, there's a few fairly sure bets. Two albums are getting the 50th anniversary treatment next year. Um, there's, of course, Wake of the Flood and 
I'll, I'll see who knows down in the comments below what the second full-length album that's getting the 50th anniversary treatment next year is. Um, and then there's just a few things that are to be expected. We're seeing a lot of Europe 72 uh, full shows getting issued on vinyl for record store days, so we'll probably see more of that. Uh, and then a few other things that seem fairly predictable and uh, a few fairly safe guesses. And so I'll, I'll make a video as kind of a, a year-end wrap about that. And so excited about that one. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you, you learned something like I did while researching this album and, and listening to it. Um, it's quite an interesting album. Um, for those who are curious to listen to this, I'm going to link down below in the description. Um, I think it's an archive.org link, but someone went and put this online somewhere. Uh, so I'll link it so that you can give it a listen. It has the same tape hiss, uh, probably about the same quality as, as this record, uh, just without the tangible nature of owning it on vinyl, of course. Uh, but thank you guys very much for joining me today. Uh, another fun look at another fun Grateful Dead record. Uh, thank you so much. Peace.